Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have already obviously done my makeup. I look a little crazy, do not be alarmed. We are about to put on brows, I know. I look in the mirror and I'm just always like, oh my gosh, where are your brows? Like whenever I don't have like the full meal deal, like filled in, you know, sharp angled arch situation. It really freaks me out. I think I look like I did in high school. I didn't do much to my brows at all. Every picture that I look at, I'm like, why? I have to kind of take you guys down memory lane just a little bit because when I opened up this PR package, I had major, major flashbacks to another video that I did maybe like a year and a half ago. And the product was from Clarins and it was a retractable multi-tipped makeup pencil where you could do your lip liner, you could do eyeliner. And ultimately that one ended up being a disaster. Like things were snapping off. They weren't pigmented they weren't creamy, it was hard. And at the end of that video, I kind of came around to the idea that if someone got this right, it would be such a beautiful thing because the concept is super cool. So now this is not the same as the Clarins multi-tipped, multi-retractable pencil. It's exclusively for your brows. So there's no lip liner in here. There's none of that. It is just all about your brows. The scoop with Benefit is that they do make really killer brow products. So I'm actually excited to hopefully figure this out and hopefully it works. And this will be great for travel and touch-ups and all of that. Um, but we're gonna find out together. So this is called the Brow Contour Pro. Super cool, super cute, comes in five shades. So we have one for blonde hair. Mom, this is for you, I'm gonna send it your way. All of my blonde products end up going to my mom and then I'll call her and I'll be like, how'd that work out for you? Was it waxy, did you like it? So she gets all the blonde products. My mom, it's funny because all of us girls, I have three sisters, we're all very dark hair and my mom is just like platinum, blonde, 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 blonde. Anyway, then we have brown medium, then we have brown light, we have brown black light and brown black deep. So there are five shades. I think that's a great range for your brows. You're gonna find something you like out of this mix. And what's cool about these is that you have a lighter shade and deeper shade, which if you guys have ever checked out my description box, I try to list the makeup for you guys. And I will always get called out for using two or sometimes three brow products. But I really love the idea of using something lighter up here and then kind of filling in with something just a little bit deeper to sculpt and using those two different tones does help filling in your brows to look more natural. So when I went on Instagram and I was kind of investigating like what's up with this product, how much, how many shades, all of that, I saw that there are one, two, three, four instructions included using the lighter shade first and focusing that more on the front part of your brow and then shading in with the slightly deeper shade on the tail. And I was like, that's how I do my brows. What's the price of this guy? Four items for one and it's $34. Expensive, I mean, that's freaking expensive for a brow product, but I guess if you look at it from the angle of, hey, you don't have to purchase two pencils and a highlighter and a sculptor, you kind of have everything. Please be good, please don't embarrass yourself on my channel. I really like Benefit. I mean, I like a lot of brands. I never go out of my way to be like, this sucks. But with these more mainstream brands that are super popular, when they come out with something like this, I'm always like, like I hope it works and I hope that I don't have to sit here and be like, everybody save your money, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and start applying. I will tell you the first thing I'm noticing that is kind of annoying. There's no spoolie on here, you guys. So I am gonna have to grab a brow brush because I cannot do my brows without some kind of brush up action to see where my arch is. I'm gonna go ahead with brown medium and I'm gonna go first with the lighter shade, okay. It twists up like so. The tip is rounded. Ooh, it feels kind of creamy and waxy. Like that's actually more creamy than a lot of brow pencils usually are. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in. So what I like about this whole system, I think I'm actually gonna like the one that shapes your brow. That's like very precise because I always like shaping my brow a little bit of concealer and it's just like one more thing that I have to keep with me if I travel. Ooh, do we see how like creamy that is? That it kind of, you gotta be careful with this. What I'm saying is this is convenient, which is the whole point of it, right? Not bad, right? That's not bad. Every time I do that, I think of my sister. She hates it when anybody raises their eyebrows. Like I don't know if it was a movie or something she saw as a child, but she always 
hates that and her child does it to her and we all die laughing and no one taught this kid to do that. Like Logan will look at her and go, and we're like, oh my gosh, he knows. Let's move over here. Dude, my lashes right now kind of look like a joke. So before I went to Thailand, my older sister Larissa came down and we thought it would be super fun to go and get lash extensions. A lot of you guys were asking about that and I loved them. I thought they were like the best thing ever. Like they're just so fun and flirty and like I had never had lash extensions that actually looked good. I had gotten them in the past and in the past I hated them. A, it took a long time for them to get on my eyes and I just, I don't have that kind of patience. B, I'm a side sleeper and I'd wake up and I'd have like a lash over here and a lash up here. This time for whatever reason that didn't happen. I went to Blink Bar, which is kind of like a franchise chain here in California. I think they're outside of California too. Anyway, they did a great job. I really, really liked them. And now like I would say like 70% of them have fallen out and I look kind of nuts, but I'm fixing Ow! Jeez, Toddy. Oh, I could have gone blind. They look weird right now, but I'm fixing that tonight. I'm so excited. I like totally get why people get hooked on that kind of a thing because you wake up in the morning and you're just like, yes, I look good. <laughs> like that's how you feel. I didn't know that was possible. Like I didn't know that lashes, like just lashes would do that much. And it's so funny because it's like, I take a break from one thing and pick up another. Like I don't have gels on my nail right now. And like, I'm taking a break from that. But of course, like while I'm taking a break from that, I'm like lash extensions, let's do it. It's great. It's like, I can never pull away and be low maintenance entirely like there's always one little thing that i have to like go and get a fill or go and do this and i don't know i guess it's kind of fun what do you guys think leave it in the comments below have you had any bad experiences with lash extensions like for a while they almost kind of freaked me out like did you go blind from that like them getting the solution and the glue and everything in your eyes like it's a little scary right Ooh, you know what i'm excited for who's excited for this is us to come back shoot i am so excited i am counting down the days. I think those people are actually my real friends in my head. I'm like, oh, those are my friends. Like that's, I love them, you know? We have made it through the first realm. We are going to switch it up and go, oop, a, hello, a step down. You know, I'm kind of into this. It's a little weird with how chunky this pencil is. Like I'm just not used to holding a brow pencil that is this chunky because usually they are all so thin. Like it's that micro thin, like you're just holding this tiny thin thing and you're kind of like feathering in the brow product. But if you can get past that, the formula is really nice. It's like creamy and chalky at the same time. It's really weird, but weird good. And I like this color for me. What do you think? I feel like I could use some powder, honestly, like right in here. Yeah, that's maybe one thing that I would want is still like a powder to go in and fill them in further. But let's go ahead and use the definer. This is what I'm most excited about. So this guy right here is going to shape the brow and like give you a little bit of a lift. And this totally tricks the eye and you don't have to have a pencil like this. You can absolutely take an angled eyeliner brush. You can take anything like this, even if it's flat and doesn't have an angle, that works just fine. Dip it into a little bit of concealer or even sometimes in the past, I have taken my foundation off the lid and then you can just go in and you will essentially just be creating a line right here making sure everything looks super clean. And I will then usually blend it down and kind of then pat it out. And that gives you this beautiful lift. I don't do this step every day of my life. It is one of those detailed things that if you have a special occasion or if you are a brows only girl and that's what you like to spend your time on and you're not fussing with, you know, 10 steps on the eye, it's a nice technique. So if you have the time for it, great. So I'm gonna go right in here and just go underneath my brow, kind of up to the arch. I don't need to fill in back here because we're gonna take the highlighter under the high point, but just right in here. Okay, for me, that's too dark. I like it to be very, very bright. So even though I like the medium shade brown medium for my brows, I probably honestly brown light. Let's see what that one looks like. Yeah, see that's way, way, way more my speed. I'm gonna actually just go over here so you guys can see the difference. 
And then if you have to, like if you messed up or you wanted to clean up the arch or change the shape, sometimes I'll do that if I get like a little carried away with one brow versus the other. It's a great way to balance things out and not, you know, screw up the whole thing. You can just take a teeny tiny bit of that lighter concealer and blend things out and carve things out and sharpen them up. I personally like the brighter versus this was just like too peachy and too dark for my skin tone, but in the right shade, I really, really like it. So not that I wanna buy two of these pencils, you know what I'm saying? So let's go to the highlighter in the brown light. I was really expecting the highlighter to have kind of like a sheen to it, and it really doesn't. So that would be like my wish is that maybe it would have a little bit of a glow factor because that would be really, really cool and a really great way to just add a little bit of like shine and you could get your lifted kind of creamy thing from the definer. That's just me and I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now. This is working great to like lift right here and do that whole thing. So we'll keep this side of the brow as brown light and then I will show you on this side what brown medium looks like and we have the highlighter all set to go here. So this one's just a lot more peachy and this one has more of a creamy kind of ivory type of a thing going on. That's it. So there you have it as far as all four things that you can click through with this new brow product. I personally think it's really cool. I don't know that it will replace my whole brow thing that I have going on here. I kind of have to poke fun at myself that I do use a ton of brow products and I will quickly like guide you through what I'm loving the most at the moment. From Milk, I super love their Kush Fiber Brow. Now I always wipe off the tip of these brow products so that you're not gunking up your brow with a ton of goo, that you're just getting like a little bit of a glaze and color and fiber and fill and hold. Really less is more with these kind of products in my opinion unless you have very full brows but even then you don't want it to look like hair gel like slicked in there you just want kind of a nice soft kind of a thing you know so i love that super love the dior brow powder i have been hooked on this ever since i did my dior uh, runway collection video i have really really reached for this over and over and over over any other powder and i love it so much um, I do really like the Legendary Brows from Charlotte Tilbury. I keep this on hand. Sicily, this is good, but it's so expensive that I kind of don't want to recommend it to you guys because I have, you know, the milk options in front of me I think are better. Dior, just they do such a good job with brows. The Dior Show Bold Brow is great. And then of course the brow styler that has your spoolie on it is fantastic. As far as the texture in this new product from Benefit, I love it. My gripe is that there's no shiny element in any one of the four to like really kick off brightness underneath the high point of the brow and there's no spoolie. So there is many benefits, no pun intended. There is many great things going on with this product as there are a few things that I personally would want more from. And I will leave it at that. Are you guys interested in this? Are you gonna buy it? Are you gonna check it out? I think it's pretty different and pretty cool. So congrats to Benefit on the launch. Thank you for sending it my way. I'm happy I could try it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Share the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I am here at Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.